Well, guys, I ended up winning my 2017 NFL Prize League, finally. And I wanted to just kind of do a video showcasing what I did. Let's start with, this is week one. And week one, these are the players that I drafted. And I will tell you, my strategy is always to go running back heavy first. I picked David Johnson here. And of course, after week one, he was a bust. He got hurt. But you can see I have Lamar Miller, David Johnson, three Gurley, four Kelly, five Sproles, six White. So I picked up six running backs, and I try to pick up as many as I possibly can here. So week one, let's go into our game center here. This is my week one game center. Won this by about eight points. And you can see here, nothing really spectacular as far as what my players have put up. Bench, eh, did okay. Let's go on to week two. And at this point, David Johnson ended up getting hurt. He was my number one pick here, this running back for Arizona. And so at this point, I was like, man, I don't know what I'm going to do. Here's my week two. I barely squeaked by by about two points. Johnson, my number one overall pick in the draft. He's obviously sitting on my bench because he gets hurt, and I end up dropping him. And I haven't picked up any players at this point. I just kind of am going to roll with this. I've won two games in a row. This is week two. Now let's jump into week three and see what happens. Week three, I didn't put up a lot of points. Luckily, he didn't either. And you can see here, my starters really haven't changed uh, other than the defense there. On the bench, I picked up Carson. He was kind of getting hot. They were talking about go pick him up for the Seahawks. He ends up being a bust. I end up dropping him eventually. Curse the same thing with the Jets. So week three, nothing exciting. I end up still playing my starters here other than just changed out my defense. Let's check out week four. And you can see here, here's Gurley putting up 32 points. Man, that helped me out a lot. If Gurley would have only put up maybe about 15 points, take 15 away from that 88, I would have easily lost this particular week's game. Here's week four. Man, I totally annihilated i smashed this guy completely here take a look at the rundown Carr didn't really do me much good Gurley put up great points as he did all season long carson i decided to play him as a act because people were talking about you know he's going to be awesome and then here we go deshaun jackson putting up a measly two points so look here here's lamar miller putting up 25 points that was a mistake i made by leaving him on the bench and then I did pick up Cohen because they were saying they were going to go to this, this two running back scheme here in Chicago. And obviously I wasn't really sure how that was going to work out. So week four, you can see I'm on a four game winning streak. And I ended up losing by less than two points. And I'm going to show you why I'm so frustrated about this particular loss here. You can see quarterback Carr ended up getting hurt during the season. I picked up Wentz, which, which was an awesome addition you know, Gurley didn't have a great game. I can't blame it on him, but I will tell you where I blame it on. The dang Texans defense got me negative three points. If they just would have given me zero points, well, zero points would have actually added me three points to this, and I would have won this week. On the bench, I ended up picking up Brown from Arizona. I grabbed Will Fuller because now this is when... Deshaun Watson was started going off for the Texans and I said man it's time for me to pick him up and see what he can do I got rid of Carson you can see here picked up that JD McKissick and then I still had Cohen on my bench I wasn't really for sure if I wanted to play him so week five yeah I ended up taking that stinking loss and I'm sorry but I got to blame it on the Texans defense here at this point let's go to week six Put up about 90 points. Obviously, my competitor didn't do too hot. And you can see over here, he really didn't have much going for him. And quite honestly, I didn't. I, I mean, I, it, I would say that's about an average play for me. Wentz did great. Lamar Miller, okay. Gurley, eh, all right. Allen didn't have a great game. Fuller did pretty good. Ertz did great. Duke Johnson kind of, I would say, was a bust during that piece. And the Falcons defense was kind of... Yeah, but you can see on my bench, I picked back up uh, Amendola, Lewis. This is about the time, too, when they were talking about Ezekiel Elliott possibly getting suspended, so I pick up Alfred Morris. I'm holding on to Kelly, 
And then I pick up a couple other guys down here, that Marlon Mack and Lewis from the Giants, just because they were on waivers and I just kind of wanted to get rid of some of the other players on my bench that weren't producing. All right, so get this win. I'm 5-1. and one. Let's go to week 7. Lewis did okay. Gurley put up a good game, 20 points. Amendola was a bust. Keenan Allen really wasn't performing, but man, that Wentz to Ertz combination, the quarterback to tight end, that was money for me all the way into the playoffs. And this Zerline kicker for the Rams was killing it for me all season long. He ended up getting hurt at the very end too. and But until then, he was putting up awesome points, puts up 17 points, and overall almost 110 points for me. And if you look at my bench, it's just – it's miserable. It's very measly. Nothing really is going on with that bench piece. But those starters really were rocking and rolling here. Let's go over to week eight. Man, I took another L. And obviously the reason here is because his Russell Wilson put up a great game. 35 points. That is awesome. Juju Smith-Schuster, 25 points. Goskowski, his kicker, put up good 13 points. You can see here I ended up picking up four bath. And you can see on my side that I ended up playing Kelly instead of Gurley, and that's because my superstar was sitting on the bench. Now, I could have said maybe I should have played Marlon Mack. He put up 12 points, obviously. And if I would have put him in for Deion Lewis, it would have given me an additional 7 points. But that 7 points probably wouldn't have been enough to get close to his 120. I feel bad for the guy I was playing. 42 points. I mean, let's check out what he had here. Alex Smith, not bad. Washington for Oakland, wow, a point. Crabtree, four points. A.J. Green didn't even put up one point on his team. Emmanuel Sanders, where are you at, bro? Three points. His kicker put up nothing. His defense put up nothing. And you can see here, again, Seems like if you can score anywhere from 93 to 100 points in this particular league I was in, you were doing pretty good. There's Gurley again, doing pretty good. Lamar Miller did okay for me. I picked up Kenny Stills in Miami. He didn't do too hot. And Will Fuller put up three points. Ertz got shut down a little bit. That's okay. A Wentz still doing a great job. And then look at that kicker again, putting up double-digit 15 points. And how about those Saints? Who that? Not a Saints fan, but hey, I'll take it. 16 points. Let's take a look at my bench. Nothing on my bench except Rob Kelly puts up about 13 points, 14 points there. We're sitting at week 9. I'm 7-2. and two. See what we have here for week 10. Here's week 10. I was just making fun of the previous guy that put up 42 points, and here I am putting up 64. Carson Wentz on my team goes on a bye. I play Lamar Miller, Gurley. I picked up Cole Beasley and ended up playing Fuller. He was a bust. I had to flex in Lewis for Jacksonville because the Eagles were on by. So you can see on my bench here, Ertz, Wentz, they're sitting on buys. You can see on my bench that I got rid of Amendola. I got rid of Deion Lewis. And I picked up Ezekiel Elliott from another guy. This is about the time where he gets suspended, hoping that maybe it was just going to be for a game or two. Got my butt whooped. Now I'm sitting at 7-3. and three. Let's go to week 11. All right, here we are, week 11. Killed it. 120 points to his 85. Wentz put up a great show. Lamar Miller did great. Gurley, eh. He put up about 12 points. Keenan Allen out of nowhere, almost 30 points. You can look at his guy right here, old Dak Prescott, a negative 120. That really didn't help him out at all. Picked up Marquise Lee. Still playing Zach Ertz. I went back in after last week after I figured out I made a mistake by dropping Deion Lewis. I said, oh my gosh, I better pick him back up. Played him. Chargers defense killed it. 25 points. And then let's take a look at my bench. Picked up Goodwin. Pick, picked up Montgomery, the running back from Green Bay. I'm still holding on to Duke Johnson. Sam and J.P. Ryan. I picked him up here from Washington, the running back. This is the time when Rob Kelly gets hurt. I pick up Williams, the running back from Green Bay. And then I pick up also Eckler, the running back from the Chargers because they were kind of giving him a little bit of hype. And I said, well, let me just at least try to get some people off waivers and do something with my bench here. Which, 
some of these players down here at the bottom did give me a pretty good push from my bench here. And let's take a look and see how they did going into the next week. So right now I'm still sitting eight and three. At this point, I am first place. In fact, I was first place throughout the entire season. I never dropped that first place ranking. Week 11, eight and three. Let's go to week 12. We're starting to get closer to the playoffs. Playoffs, that's that week 14. Kind of getting excited. But remember, at this point, I kept telling myself, don't chase points. Keep doing what has got you this far and keeping you in first place. And that's what I did. I'm playing my key players, my quarterback, my running backs, and I'm just picking up a few players here and there, not making a lot of changes on my starters and just stacking up players on that bench just in case I need them. Here we go. We're week 12. I almost beat this guy by 30 points. Check out what I got going on here. Carson Wentz, Lamar Miller, Gurley, Keenan Allen. Those guys have got me some really solid points, so to speak, up to this point. I decided to take a chance on Marquise Lee. He didn't do too hot. Ertz kills it. Sammy J. P. Ryan. I had him on my bench. It was time to play him. He's playing the Giants. The Giants were sucking it up this year. Boom, 13 points. There's Zerline, 16 points. Check out the Chargers versus Dallas. Dallas, that's my team, but you know what? They were sucking it up this year. I said, I'm playing the Chargers, and what do you know? I got a double whammy out of that. Keenan Allen, 23 points. The Chargers defense, 19 points. Let's check out my bench. Williams from Green Bay, 25 points. Deion Lewis, 11 points. I mean, look at that bench, 58 points. His bench at 740. So here we are, 9-3, and three, week 12. We're two weeks away from the playoffs. I'm sitting first place. I know I'm locked in at this point. The question is, am I going to have the right people set up for me to push through for week 15 and 16. Let's check it out. Let's go to week 13. Here is week 13. Man, I ended up killing it again. Here we are, week 14. This is the last week before the playoffs start. I already locked in a, a first place spot a couple weeks ago. End up beating the guy here by 14 points. You can see Wentz, Gurley, Williams, man, 20 plus pointers there. Just did an absolutely phenomenal job with that piece. Ended up still putting Miller on the bench, kept Lewis on the bench, and I ended up putting Ertz on the bench this game. I want to say he ended up getting a concussion, and so that's why I ended up picking up this Seals Jones. Didn't really do me much, but at this point, I really didn't need that win to get into the playoffs. So let's start championship week 15. Let's see what happens. To be honest with you, this is probably the craziest week of my entire fantasy life. Check this out. Here we are, week 15, the first round of the championship, and I beat the guy by about two and a half points. So let me explain what took place here. Wentz gets hurt last week. I ended up having to drop him because he goes on IR. I pick up Blake Bortles. So I'm playing some of my guys. I played Williams. Maybe that was a bad play. I could have flexed in Johnson and got a few extra points. But just looking at what I did play here, at the probably around 1 or 2 o'clock in the afternoon, I'm starting to get a little bit worried about what's going on. I'm losing by 40 and 50 points, and I'm not lying. Todd Gurley puts up 42 freaking points, and I end up beating this dude by just... Less than three points, you can see here. I mean, if it weren't for Todd Gurley on the reel, I would have lost this round. And guess what? I end up going to the championship round. Because if I would not have had Todd Gurley, there is no way I would have beaten this guy. Period. I would have lost maybe by 25 points if somebody would have put up maybe 15, 16 points or so. So here we are. We're moving on to the finals. Let's see what happens in the final round here. And here we go. Week 16, this is the finals. I ended up beating this dude by almost 43 points. It was a slaughter, which I have to owe it to. Gurley getting me there. Look again, Gurley putting up almost 40 points. Blake Bortles, what a pickup. 
Man, he was a great substitution for Carson Wentz. He came through at the end. Deion Lewis. Let's talk about Deion Lewis. Why was he so important in this game? Burkhead gets hurt. Gillisley gets hurt. What happens? Deion Lewis is the man. White is hurt. I think he, Lewis, at this point, was the only running back that was the healthiest that was going to get the majority of the snaps. Guess what? 27 points. What? Juju Smith-Schuster, somebody dropped him, and I needed a wide receiver. So let's check out what happened here. If you look at my opponent's bench, you can't see it here, but he actually had Antonio Brown. Antonio Brown got hurt. Guess what? He did not go pick up Juju Smith-Schuster, and he didn't even pick up Martavius Bryant. So when I saw that, he had Antonio Brown, who was hurt. I went into the waivers. I picked, tried to pick up both of those guys, hoping that I would get them. I did. Guess what? He doesn't have a substitution in Antonio Brown's spot. Not to mention, Pittsburgh's playing Houston. Houston was garbage at this point. Smith-Schuster, a respectable almost 14 points. I'll take that. And looky here, championship round, winner, 2017 fantasy, what?